Okay, so we've got both strain gauges installed on the aluminum beam and now I've connected uh, each one of them into the gauge installation testers. Uh, what this will verify is the electrical integrity of the circuit. We're basically going to look at the initial imbalance. We're also going to look at the resistance to ground. Um, I'll take it and just lay it onto the table. We'll come over to this left gauge installation tester first. This one is testing the traditional CEA series gauge, which is a 120 ohm. So I've got the red wire connected to the red post. The white wire in this case goes to the black post and the black wire goes to the white post. It really doesn't matter with these two, the white and the black, because they're common together on the strain gauge. That's just the way I wired it up. With this instrument, first thing you always want to do is check your uh, battery, make sure the batteries are good. And oh, by the way, before I forget, make sure you have the ground connected and we do is clipped on to the end of this beam right here. So I'll push the battery indicator and it goes all the way to the right. That's an excellent indication that the batteries are fully charged or the batteries are good, not charged, but good. 5% uh, as I push that you'll notice that the needle really doesn't move. We're looking at a percent deviation comparing the installed resistance to a resistor inside the box. Notice again at 5% it barely moves. On the 1% scale it goes up ever so slightly. I would say that's probably about 0.06%. If you remember the tolerance on these gauges from the package it's plus or minus 0.3%. Uh, we can verify the resistance of the gauge. Sure enough, it does tell us that it's a 120 ohm. And then last but not least, as we push the mega ohm check, uh, we're going up to 20,000 mega ohm, and that's exactly the number that we're expecting and looking for. So we'll do the very same thing with the advanced sensors, 350 ohm strain gauge. I've got the red conductor going to the red post, the white one goes to the black, and this time the black wire goes to the D350 post. Again, you could flip-flop the white and the black and it's perfectly fine. It works either way. Um, again, the ground strap is connected. Uh, that ties into the end of the beam. We'll check the battery on this box. It goes full scale. That's a good indicator that the batteries are good. 5% range. The needle really doesn't move. To get a little bit more of a uh, indication we push the 1% range and we're on the order of about 0.12% on the low side. Again well inside of the tolerance. Uh, we check the resistance of the strain gauge and sure enough it tells us that it's uh, 350 ohms. And then last but not least we look at resistance to ground and it goes full to 20,000 mega ohm or 20,000 million ohms resistance. So these checks verify that both gauges are well inside of their resistance tolerances. Uh, both have excellent resistance to ground.